Grade 7 Math, number 6.1b, Distributive Property and Algebraic Expressions. The distributive property is like a mother bird feeding her nestlings. Each number in the parentheses gets multiplied by the number outside the parentheses. Each little bird gets a turn, no one skipped. Same with the number, 2 times 3 is then added to 2 times 4. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 4 is 8, 6 plus 8 is 14. See? The distributive property will help us simplify or expand an expression. So Tal is selling candy bars to raise money for her school trip, and 25% of the money she collects will go towards the trip. It says to write an expression to represent how much goes towards the trip. So we're going to let L represent the number of large candy bars she sells, and we're going to let S represent the number of small candy bars she sells, and she gets 25% of the sales. 25% is 0.25 in decimal form. So 3L is going to be the large at $3 a piece, and 2S is going to be the $2 for each small one. It's going to represent the amount of money earned from selling large and small candy bars. So we need to multiply the 3L plus 2S times the 25%. So we do it as its decimal form, 0.25. So that's 25%, then the large ones, then the small ones. So that's 0.25 times 3L, right here, plus 0.25 times 2S, see? And the 0.25 times 3 is 0.75L, and then we're going to add that to 0.25 times 2, which is 0.50s, see? And now that's simplified as far as it can go, okay? If we see something like this, and it says 7 times 9k, and then 7 times 6m, and we add them together, well, 7 times 9 is 63, and we're going to add that to 7 times 6, which is 42. And we're going to make sure we've got the variables in. So we've got 63k plus 42m. And that's as simplified as it can go. If we've got decimals like 0 0.03, we're going to multiply it to the 4x. That's going to give us 1.2x. 4 times 0.3 is 1.2. And then 0.3 times 12 is 3.6. So it's going to be 3.6y, and we're going to bring our subtraction sign in. See? 1.2x minus 3.6y. We can even do it with fractions. This would be 1 third times 9a. 1 third times 9 is 1 third times 9 over 1, which is 9 thirds, which is 3. So we got 3a. And then 1 third times 6b is going to be 1 third times 6 over 1, which is 6 thirds, which is 2. So we've got 2b, and we put our addition sign there. And then we make sure we have our, our subtraction sign there. It's not all addition. There's a subtraction sign there. 1 third times 15c. That's 1 third times 15 over 1, which is 15 over 3 or 5. So that's 5c. And that's as simplified as it can get, see? And we, we make sure we don't mix up our variables, that we keep each one separate from each other. You want to watch the variables and only combine the like terms, OK? So if you need more help multiplying negative and positive integers, you can go to the Joanne School Grade 7 Math videos for number 2.1, and then 2.1b has some word problems, and they're in the Grade 7 Math playlist for Joanne School, or you can just look for them separately. So I hope this was helpful, and if my videos are helping you, I just want to let you know that you can go to patreon.com and become a monthly patron and subscriber for a dollar a month. And we're going to do one more on this topic, 6.1c. I'm going to talk about factoring expressions. I'll see you there. Bye.